Hello everybody, uh, this is a lovely team for Purple Chess to be doing. Uh, we've got Purple Chaos team, uh, coached by oh, Arzawain, and uh, Ploppen with his Lizardmen in the round of 64 of the CCL Playoffs season number 45. Hello Purple Chest. Hello, uh, exciting matchup this, uh, two very evenly balanced teams. Lots of development, but not sort of over the top for the Lizards. Uh, the Chaos looking very, very fit for this. Uh, but of course, you know, the strength advantage does sit with the Lizards as we start this game. Yes, they're a bit guard light, aren't they? There's uh, there's no guard on these two, but they've still got like, they're really nice Saurus, aren't they? They are really nice, nice Saurus. But um, you've, got ma you've got to imagine they're going to get slaughtered by the Claw Palm. But if the yeah. Claw Palm doesn't slaughter them, it gets really, really tricky for the Chaos, doesn't it? It, it does, uh, and the skinks are quite pleasant. There's a, a few little annoying skills on them. Uh, they've got a blodge, which is uh, always... Oh, no, it isn't. It's a short hands, which is still always very, very nice. Um, and then just a couple of side steps, so not too much bloat there. Uh, I'd like to see a couple more skinks on the bench, ideally, because I do think the slaughter is going to start. <laughs> yeah. I think this lizard team is light, but um, you know they're, they're, they're starting fairly sensibly, packing up, trying to only give corners for blitzes. Um, and the Chaos have to choose either between sniping something right out on the edge, which looks like the Crocs are going, looks like that is what they're going to try, yeah. or coming in and basing this entire Saurus squad, um, where they can you know, very easily take some damage themselves. Yeah. After the route through Chaos is to try and sort of control or not be bothered too much by the Warriors, and see if you can get hold of the Beastmen. Their AV8 is breakable if you come with a proper bash team. Hey, but losing your crocs in turn one, not very likely to happen. Apple. In, instant apple. He got an extra apple. Yeah. He was 100 TV down, so he's got an extra apple. Yeah. So only one of his apples used on turn one. But yeah, that was the obvious blitz, wasn't it? No, no block. Yeah, protected. absolutely. It was the only one in the shape as well that was easy to get hold of and still keep a tight defense packed in front of, which the Chaos did very well. Yeah. Um, they built as I would tend to build chaos with just very very solid warriors. They can put in people's faces with block and guard. They can take the hits with their AD nine and their strength four. They can hold a nice line of a, of a, a wall or a set of curtains as we're seeing here in front of this uh, advancing lizards, and then it can keep some of the beastmen uh, to do the work and to be the the, the more responsive pieces safe behind them. Uh, that's exactly the shape these chaos are trying to maintain. This is responding, of course, by trying to take on the sniping pieces that came for that Croxigore and trying to dominate with their strength and their guard in that area. Yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice chain for the extra block, wasn't it? That was. That it was really was, yeah, yeah, lovely. Did expose a Skinkor to do it? And, uh... Yes, and I think that's where the natural blitz is, but the, the natural blitzing piece is a little far away from it. I think I think he's just going to blitz the. Uh... The, the Saurus probably isn't he? It's much better to claw palm the Saurus. <laughs> it's right in front of you. <laughs> That's what I'd do. But I mean, Reddit would tell me that it's better to hit the Skink. But uh, I would rather, I would rather blitz him, and then you can just hit the Skink with uh, this guy, probably. Maybe I don't know what's happening now. He hasn't put in the guards. No, he's he's determined to keep these uh, these walls of warriors up there, keeping things safe. I think he's just looking to leverage that uh, a route for that. Beastman to either block his what? No, he's coming in. Yep, coming oh, in hot. The pile on, isn't it? Pile on. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god, he just did a 4 plus dodge. Now, considering there is another claw pop, is, it, is there any world in which that's worth throwing a junk skink at fouling? With 10 players, it's hard, isn't it? But it's then... so hard to do. But then you'd rather trade a skink for him than uh, have him cast another three. <laughs> Saurus. It is hard. It is very hard to deal with. I guess he can just hope that the guard locks him down. This is where that second Epo could have been a bribe, which I don't know, I'd have gone with the Epo as well. But Yeah, I, I really don't like bribes. Yeah, from this shape, I think he is. I think we're seeing it, Jim. Yep. Here it comes. Well, be lucky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't even well, break. <laughs> I mean, in some ways, that is lucky. The skink's still on the field. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And now, of course, all of these... Uh, these assists are trying desperately to not be there anymore. 
Me, a city that found no, no, I wasn't even there, Gov. I was over here talking to this Anasaurus, miles away from the claw bomb where I was. <laughs> and he gets the 2D there, doesn't he? Yep, that's the three assists he needs. Oh, is it? Uh, three, four, yeah. five, six, five, four, yes it is. Oof. Ooh. Greed as well. Total greed reroll into the stand for. Now, this is the sort of position the lizards want. That gives them several hits back on that claw pommer. Yeah. And really, that's the only piece I'd be focusing on attacking this turn. Other attacks are lovely, but that's the one I need to get the decent hits on. He could also so, uphill surface claw pommer, couldn't he? Like, that's, that's a pretty that's, decent you could, you could deal with them both. It's incredibly unlikely, but it's, it's possible. Okay, so he pushes it over to the other mighty blow. That gets a hit on it. It gets the power. And, of course, it's completely fine. I mean, he might not even... He could even one day surf him, right? Because, if yeah, it gets... It looks like he is, Jim. He's seen the shape. He's made the box. Mm -hmm. Here comes the strength for This bit's the easy bit. He doesn't get the knockdown. Mm. Oh, now it is going to be red die. He's going to go for it, though. Yeah, well, he can get, he can get two in, that. can't he? He can get two in and then one day it. Yeah, he can still he one can. day it. He can. I mean, skinks are perfect for that, and it looks like he is. Boy, well, having that. having faced a turn where he might have got rid of both claw pops, he's got rid of one. If this is three plus works, yeah. And the other one does look reasonably controlled, but it, it won't be. It'll get hit. Yeah. He gets it off. Well, hey. What do the crowd say? The crowd say. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're all right, mate. Go back next drive and kill. <laughs> and yeah, he's he's got he's he's got quite a lot of guard, hasn't he? So this is pretty easy to get two D here. Yeah. And having kept those lovely warriors back specifically for something like this, they can now pile in, give him those assists, and give him that pole. Yep. Oh, the base. <laughs> Oh. I'm surprised he hit that one because I would have rather pommed the guy. Yeah, I like. Okay, this lets you maximize hits, but yes, it's you're a not hit. likely. Oh, to, there we you're go. not likely to cast this Saurus with a blockless block. <laughs> but he did anyway. <laughs> you made that happen, Jim. <laughs> Through some weird moment in the space-time continuum, they knew you were going to say that at that moment in this replay. <laughs> Enough away, I'm going to make a fool out of Jimmy. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it was block. It was block maximization. And he's already thinking about removing the whole team. That's what that shows me, not the key pieces. Yeah. And yeah, he got super lucky. Uh, the block plus block was the one that produced the injury. Yeah, I would have. And as lizards, that's you don't need that. You need your AV9 to tank all hits that aren't the claw because you are the lizard to the claw. Yes. What a look at dog. Still, the Lizards are giving themselves a nice little shape up this side. They might still get this touchdown done. Yeah, this the ball's just a little bit too far back, isn't it? So it, 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 They can hand off, but oh. I, I suspect he's going to try and just GFI past the little screen he's created instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does the GFI. It's interesting. Yeah, the two GFIs just behind that little screen. I'm not, and I'm not a fan of snakes the second. Yeah, you died. I, I am if you need to, and I am if they're not relevant to the position and you can afford to fail them. <laughs> but I'm not with the ball like that, Jim, though. No, that was pretty that was pretty rowdy, I think. He should have either been further forward last turn, or he yep. should have just aimed to, you know, not you know, not get the ball there, like get the ball here or whatever and then And particularly as it didn't put him into scoring range, he was still gonna to be too you know, full turns away from scoring. I didn't see it as a huge advantage. No. From as you said, stabilizing three squares further back, for example. Yeah. And that sidestep one forward still means the chaos have to respond to it as a scoring threat, and still do now. So it, it, it just didn't seem to achieve a huge amount, did it? No. And I mean, it was obviously still really unlucky, but yeah. Oh, there's That's a long gun. <laughs> That scheme that went up to the side of that Chaos Warrior could have been just underneath it, preventing it dodging out easily, and you could have just actually stabilised at the back. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do when he yeah. had those skins. I thought, well, he'll just screen yeah. that. He'll just screen that skin. Yeah. Exactly. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He went for the two JFIs. Wow. Exactly, Steve Motti. I was just going to look for that emote myself. A scared GFI. Okay. Oh god, he did this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Why was that a blitz? Oh, because he's got Juggernaut. So he'd get the push. And then he'll get his sideline cage. Yeah, Muppet, that's beautiful, isn't it? That's exactly what I meant, mate. See, no effort. Just drop it in there, use their easy animate. And it's a, a what was a great emote, it's now a thousand times better. Love it, dude. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Glorious. And uh, no, not yet, a large thud. Not yet. Chlorine Lizard's PTSD, yeah. It's, it's really rough for lizards. So rough. Oh, the other grid does not match the glory of a cross purple chest. <laughs> I mean, it's particularly for lizards, though, isn't it? That's the thing. Like, with, you know, the yeah. army man guys being so important. Just being yeah, absolutely. Instantly removed from us. It's crazy. I mean, I, I think he's. Uh, horribly, I think he's done about what you could expect. This hasn't been a terrible plan. Keep them clubbed together. Try and use the strength of the guard. Try and control the claw piece. Good claw pieces. Hit them whenever you can. Remove them when you can. Yeah. And he's still taking five cars. <laughs> he's still taking five cars. Six times. I mean, it has been a Dyson, to be fair. But Although that failed GFI is on him. Yes. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's still a Dyson, though, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. You can't expect making two GFIs, but and one at a time as well. To one in thirty-six, one of them, and then get cast is is very very. Unlucky. And dying. we have <laughs> we have capped the chaos at eleven. That yeah. is not likely to be relevant, but it, it did happen. Yeah, and now he can just potato. Well, we're certainly trying that, and we we were making it happen. Um, <laughs> now you may have spotted the the. Tackle wrestle piece um, <laughs> yep. at the back of the chaos team, and I certainly have not missed it. Um, the problem is, there's just nothing the lizards can do about it. So, at least getting the ball down that end of the field is going to prevent them being scored on and give them some chance to perhaps recover it. And you know, these four dice might fail. Yeah. Oh, let, let, so, me, let me say something, PC. Do you know what I'd sure. like to do here? I'd, what I'd like to do, I don't know if he's got the men available to run around and do it. But um, he could, he could. I could put a guy here. He could push this Saurus to here with uh, this Beast Man. Then he could punch this guy, and then he could chain him forward, right? And then he would be able to move and assist and make it three dice. Oh yeah, no, that is sexy. Mm. Yeah, you're not wrong. But he's, looks like he's not doing that. I mean, with Rackle, there is a lot of dice that help him, isn't it? It's seventy-five percent, and he can re-roll it. But it's no, the he, there you are. The GFI put in the three dime. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Boy, howdy! Well, and you weren't wrong with your three die call there. That was <laughs> yeah. needed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he's got a chance. He's got a chance. Yeah, it's right there to be had. It's a one in nine, one in three, and we have a reroll. So one in nine, one in nine. I mean, if it could have been done easily, it's just a two D with block and another two D with block. It's just if you can get the people around. Like obviously, I wouldn't GFI or anything, but yeah, if you can just get the people around, two two Ds are better than one to two plus, aren't they? Yes. And it's it is that sort of thing. It is finding those little extra two percent slivers of equity. Um, that really do kick in from the good player to the great player at times. Because mm -hmm. it prevents just a few of those outlying unlucky moments. Mm -hmm. Or it gives you a few of those outlying um, you know, lucky moments. Only Claw Mighty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> not, not on the same level as Claw Pom, is it? Oh, he's going for the score. 
happens. I was wondering why he was hitting that one, but it was to get the score. It's because there is an going. option to score, yeah, to yeah. elf two turn it. Well, I say again, I massively celebrate the attempt. But the lizard's still really unlucky not to score there. Yeah, um, they were, yeah. <laughs> now, that Tato attempt came really, really close, just needed to not. That armor break to not happen, and it didn't, and then. Oh, <laughs> snatched away. <laughs> now. Those are the ones that feel the most frustrating. Yes, yeah. Eight men. We're in a rough position. You've still somehow got dice to kind of make it all right. And they're not even terrible dice. And of course it's going to be fine. It's just, you know, just roll a couple of three pluses with a re-roll on each. <laughs> that can't fail, can it, Jim? Uh, well, yeah, it can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it can. Pretty easily. Yeah, all the skins died on dodges and GFIs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. What one got one got hit by the by the claw pummer, I'm sure. But yeah, mo mostly they got hit. Mostly it was dodges and GFS. <laughs> and, and obviously he's taken two two big removals of Saurus and Crocs that he appoed. So like he's the removing Saurus has worked has worked just as well as the removing Skinks actually. <laughs> actually. And his his blockless claw pommer can claw pom a block saurus, can't he? So it's not it's not even a disadvantage to not have block. Love to see it. Well, as it never plans to be there taking a hit back, half the value of blocks not useful to it anyway. Yeah. Way <laughs> He didn't get a wizard, no, he got one apple. That's the that's the thing. We still have one left for the sources, don't we? No, no, you used both apples. Uh, oh, there, was the, there was the Crocs and a Saurus both got cast. Yes, I've, I, the Saurus one was the one I was temporarily forgetting. Hey, there's the Crocs again. No! Oh, survives! Survives! This has been very unlucky. They've had several hits on that claw pommer and that surf on the other one, and still not got any traction on them. They're both back on the field hitting them. Yep. And of course, that failed attempt to score, which. This is a bit crap, isn't it? Because obviously, you've got to claw pom, but like it's getting yep. your claw pommer miles away from the rest of your team. It's not helping yep. your position, but got to do it. But you're not going to get fouled back. The soul skin on the field is not fouling you. Oh, yeah, and you've, you're like, you've got to do it, even though it takes a. A guy away from the ball and against a massive strong team you've still got to do it and yep he's getting yep. hit yeah I, i'm not sure i'd have advanced there the other one is is meat anyway it's gonna get hit and by advancing there yes you're controlling that claw pommer but it's just gonna use that guard to claw pump you <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hence the Crocs tries the dodge and <laughs> removes itself. Um, now to explain that, because some people are going to hate it, um, it's better to fail that dodge and be able to stand up next turn, next to where those two Sauruses are going to be knocked over, oh, than it is okay. to stay there on the ground. So he was I mean, guaranteed he knew he was going to fail the dodge, but it was a better position to be down on the ground in. And he assumed the AV9 thick skull would tank it. Oh, there's uh, a very good chance it doesn't. That's the thing, isn't it? It's like it's the problem, Jim. It didn't. Slivers of equity. <laughs> Thick skull is a skill, yeah. Only actively taken by Rick Reckless in uh, Blood Bowl history, but <laughs> some players do start with it. Yes. to protect his uh, his claw pom. Yep. Of course he was going to move him out to protect the claw pom. Screw the ball. <laughs> well, the ball is quite important, Jim, but I, I think, if I remember the rules, the ball can't claw pom. Exactly. 
Exactly. Much more important to protect your club bomber than the ball. I know, I've played some Chaos and Nurgle in my time. <laughs> <laughs> and your claw bomber is far more important than the ball. Well, don't kill no meds. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, KFOG did take on a Brett Blocker. Yeah, yeah. I was, it was just a joke. Obviously, people other than Rick have taken it, but. <laughs> yeah, KFOG's. KFOG's Brett Blocker no, was something. He didn't take it as a joke. Me and him discussed it, and we picked it as the most sensible choice for that. Uh, I don't think it was a block. Well, it was a block. Yes, it was a blocker. Oh. And he will stand by and defend it. Oh, God. It was a semi-joke. We ended up with two options, and we thought it was the funnier of the two. But I was likely to give value. Okay. <laughs> I'll forgive Again, you then. It was either niggled or armor bust, and yet quite likely to have to spend some turns on the line of scrimmage. So I think Skull didn't feel that terrible. There was nothing good to put on. <laughs> but it was so it was a semi joke. <laughs> yeah, Muppet, yeah, that was that was the best thing about Rick's Thick Skull, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> because no one should really be taking it. Again, when you say no one, there is that one in a zillion edge time, like that one with Kofa, where it kind of isn't the worst thing ever, but <laughs> And to be fair, you can take it on big guys, right? You can take it on a beast yeah. of Nurgle after Garden Stand Firm and stuff, so... You can pop it on a troll a that mummy? just wants to get hit. Yeah. You know, because, again, that durability is one of its key factors. So there are edge cases, but Jim's right. It's shit. Don't take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he hits away the claw mighty, but... And like, there's yeah. been a surprising lack of attrition this half, isn't it? This half, it's... yes. We've, we've fallen into that bash lull, haven't we? Yeah. It's turn four and the only removal has been the failed, the failed Croxagore dodge. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. And yet the Chaos still look dominant and stable, don't they? There's just not enough lizards still. No, yeah, they started off too weak, didn't they? Yeah, they started off uh, up shit creek. They haven't yeah, lost their paddle is, yet, but yeah, they wibble turning. and they wobble. They don't fall down. Oh, and that isn't go. that always the way. <laughs> there we go. First two hits don't knock it over, and so it gets ends up on the claw piece. Who kills it? Yeah. Hello, oh, Diddle. Don't watch the vod. Don't watch the vod. <laughs> <laughs> Now contractually obliged to call Daedle Dice, but it works with the Saurus. They, uh, they do knock the least dangerous of all the Chaos players over. Uphill with block and tackle, let's flipping go! Am I allowed to love that he tried that, Jim? <laughs> yeah. see him when he did the first block, that's what he was looking for. That's great. Yeah. Well done. Hey, you got to try, haven't you? You've got to try. And it's on a non block ball carrier, so. That was less terrible odds than it looked. Yes. Because the tackle counter, counter, uh, cancelled the dodge, of course, making it just blockless. Mm -hmm. Well, now there's about five Saurus left. <laughs> yep. Six men total. Yuck. Oh, yeah, he didn't pile on. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. It means he set it to manual, which is just, why would you? That's bizarre, isn't it? Is he is he forgotten how to play? He must have misclicked. We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He misclicked. Happens to the best sort of, of us. Some sort of bug. I... <laughs> yeah, it could be a bug, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Gets his rookie punished, which is obviously fine by him. Well, not rookie guard, but still nearly rookie. Um, and to be fair, a lot that half of your description is also true of me and Jimmy. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. We weren't, we weren't critical, were we? No. no. I mean, confused, but in general I felt supported. But we no. called, it, called it for what it was, a mistake. The problem that I have with this Saurus is it has a skill that isn't guard. <laughs> um, so it's therefore wrong. <laughs> it is therefore the wrong skill <laughs> because that skill is not guard. Well, I mean, I've been dipping in now. I have had some things to do the last few days and been travelling a bit, picking my nephews up, taking them out and things. But from what I firmly said and from a little bit I've picked up from some of the casts, um, although I watched the, the Deer cast back, that was fascinating. That hit was so terrible. Um, there has been a bit of a theme, perhaps, that teams getting in a, a good position. Either Nuffle is just messing with us all and likes to keep things a little more tense than that, or that sometimes those coaches are just slightly taking their foot off the gas and allowing the other team back into it. That seems to have happened a few times, maybe. Yeah, it does seem. That lack of focus. I mean, it, would you agree, Jim? Is that what you've been watching? Yeah, I mean, I can't remember anything because it just goes in one ear and out the other, to be honest. I haven't been... Sure. <laughs> They've all blurred into one horrible dwarven mess after after seeing that Enzo game. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> that has me questioning all that is good and holy, but, you know. <laughs> I've just got it. I've just got it to see it into my brain every time. I, every time I close my eyes, I just see a line of dwarves and a line of chaffs all with stand firm, <laughs> standing there. And then when something vaguely threatens to happen, double skulls say no. It's not going to. <laughs> oh my god! So many double skulls. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? The amount of double skulls. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he is going to get the sidestep into the cage. Very excited. And he's also going to get a break tackle into the cage. He's not going to get a sidestep into the cage, which is a real shame because they're going to get an uphill or even a both down on a blockless ball carrier when they're you know, this near the end zone. It just gives you that sliver of equity that they may not pick it up. Yep, and he had, he had to dodge there because he, he had to. Like, this is pretty crap, isn't it? Just an X cage like this. Cause this it's is not a, ideal, though. An instant 1D on the ball. Instant. <laughs> it should be. Um, it's pretty decent odds to get in there. There is some work that needs to get done to ensure that. Yeah. But, but it's, uh, it's not hard work. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's it, basically. And then one other source just needs to move that didn't need free. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, 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 it was it was it was good play to put the guard on the opposite corners so that you know to stop yeah. it. But... So that from either direction, it's a one die at best, but it's it is a one die. Yeah. Assuming this works, which it's it's a seventy five percent of reroll to get there, but that he gets it. Gets he gets there. in. He hasn't even used break tackle in. either. <laughs> gets the kill. And the removal. Wow. Boy, howdy. If only it were raining, Jim. If only. If only had one more player to like do something. Yeah, and there's the clear. And it's three plus with a reroll to win. Same situation as the sk as the uh, skink had, it, isn't it? But this time, yep, except he makes it. The chaos make it. But the Cows played fine, they did exactly what they should do. They relied on their strong players to keep their weaker players safe. They piled on every single time except one. <laughs> uh, and they killed the Sauruses, which, whilst other races would try other approaches, you know, they're the same armour as a skink, minus the stunty advantage, so you, just, you can remove those as Chaos and makes it much easier. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, skin, the Saurus are like the absolute crucial players, aren't they? Yeah. So. You get them down, you can start hitting them more and and start actually winning the bash boy. And that's the thing, people people who follow the Reddit advice of hit the skinks can get out horribly out of position and obviously also not kill them. And then all of a sudden seven big boys are smashing their face in and they're like, Oh, I wish I hadn't tried to just kill a skink. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's 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 good and bad advice, isn't it? it? It's very race dependent. If you can get hold of the skinks and remove them, it makes you do need to deal with the sauruses. It makes dealing with them a lot easier. If you've got the skills or the just you know mass of guard or strength or claw to deal with the sauruses, that's how you beat lizard teams. But sometimes it can't be done. There is a quick snap. It's very hard because he's got to get the ball with a saurus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the uh, but the the one turn is possible. I've I've lost my belief, but it's possible. Um, I mean, not like this because he moved this. No. He moved, he's he's done it all wrong. But you know, he has done it all wrong. But you know, still. Well, yeah, it's technically still there. Yeah. That gets the skink in range. Now we just need the ball to the skink. Yeah. Close your eyes and believe. <laughs> like I do when I drive. <laughs> oh, you failed the fight. Oh, it didn't work. Well. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, I've literally already forgotten... Uh, the Lizardman coach, but I saw that it was ours away, and so there you go. Congrats, ours away. Commiserations, Lizardman coach. <laughs> Thank you very much, PC, for the glorious commentary, as always. A pleasure. <laughs> Absolute legend. And uh, plopping, right? Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, it's just it's hard when this doing all these games. It's like it is literally all blurring into one. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.